This is the day. This is the occasion. The final of the 2024 UEFA European Championship. A chance to write new history. A chance to achieve greatness. With the football world eagerly watching. Stay tuned, we're live next on EA TV. And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. It's France against Italy. Well, Derek, I'm really excited by these two teams. There are some top-class players all up. Must score! And he's allowed his opponent to get past him. Free kick awarded then by the referee. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Stuart, what are you expecting to see from Mbappe? Defenders, Derek, hate playing against players with pace, and he's got plenty of pace to run in behind. He does it cleverly. He comes short, then spins in behind, and then he's 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and he usually finishes it off. Well, Italy have done it again. Here they are in the final again, second Euros running, and only Spain have managed to win the Euros back to back. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there, he's not going to take any messing about here. Disappointing for France to give it away like that. Real chance! Oh yes! First to score in this final! And it could be highly significant! Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. And France get the ball moving again. Can they come up with an answer here? William Saliba. Teo Hernandez now. Chouameni. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Federico Di Marco. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Cross fired over. And rattling the post. Well, no damage done. Well, France are hanging on here. Had they gone two down, they really would be up against it now. Well, taking advantage of the rub of the green is all part of football. Can he finish? Still could be dangerous. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And that is offside.
Upamecano. Upamecano. Griezmann. Good tackle, take it away. Varela. Opportunity, maybe. And the keeper more than equal to it. <laughs> and making sure it wasn't problematic. Federico Chiesa. Who can he pick out? And got a Conte. Now Griezmann. Chance here. It's still alive. Here to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be. Well read to win possession back. Pellegrini. Chiesa. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Difficult to stop him. But they dealt with the threat posed. Well, it's a constant struggle for them to get out of their own half. Dembele. Now well, he's given us away. And quick thinking defensively. That is that for the first half here. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. towards goal it has to be oh that is an outrageously good stop well great reflexes from the keeper he did brilliantly there on the volley terrific strike well it's a very difficult technique but I actually think he should be scoring there France with the ball again and got a Conte Kylian Mbappe. Griezmann gets himself into the attacking third with the ball at his feet. Well, over the last 15 minutes, Italy have really started to take control, haven't they? And have been pressing to extend their lead. They just need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. And they will make the change now. to get tighter here 
But on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Well, sometimes advantage just doesn't work out. And the referee has awarded a free kick now. simple for the keeper the high press was very much on possession one so a half an hour remaining Kunde ball back with Italy now And he did well to cut it out. Dembele. Barella. He's got to score! And the ball is loose. Oh, great block. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Well, getting the timing completely wrong there, it must be said. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He mistimes it and it ends up being a poor finish. So a personnel change then. <laughs> 20 minutes remaining. for him and a goal I'll tell you what they're going to be very hard to catch now name on the trophy maybe well here it is again and he only had one thing on his mind hit it as hard as he could and he certainly did that what a good goal Two 0 now, and back on the way. Upa Makano. Griezmann. Giroud. Well, that was an opportunity to get themselves back into this contest. Well, it's a chance, yes, and one they needed to take. They're struggling here, no doubt about that. Good run, very much in control of the situation. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Perfect challenge. Teammates available. Not a great challenge, free kick here. Man. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Counter attacking chance. No 
Well, it was a terrific piece of play. That was until we got to the finishing part. Well, as you said, great counter-attack, but a wayward finish in the end. Good to watch, though. Good run and good ball control. Will he finish? Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that powerful effort. And teammates around him. Tempele. And with that, they thwarted the opportunity. Gianluca Scamacca. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Superb block. Barella. Just the clearance that was called for. Gives it a go. He's blocked it. No possibilities in the centre. Has eyes for goal. And there goes the final whistle. Italy have won the Euros again on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserved champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And now, with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions once more, Italy! What a great moment for these players. Absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't get any better than this, does it? A chance now to celebrate with their own fans. And the fans have also played their part. Just listen to the noise here. Great end to this tournament.